Hello and welcome to another episode of Kimmel'sIrishPub.com. It's time for another movie review, and tonight we're going to do The Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Long Haul. So this is a, a, a movie that has a full series behind it. I think this is the third or fourth installment. Um, the main actors have uh, grown up, so it's not the original cast. Um, now it has Jason Drucker as the um, child in the movie, and Alicia Silverstone as the mom, and Tom Everett Scott as the father. So Alicia Silverstone, you might know from Clueless. Um, Tom Everett Scott, you probably, in various movies, uh, That Thing Called Love um, is one that comes to mind with him in it. Uh, the critics rate this, or IMDb rates this as a 3.9. So uh, my expectations aren't very high, uh, but I did like the original first two Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I thought they were funny. Laugh out, laugh out loud funny. Uh, enjoy them with your family. I'm not sure how, how this one will be, but we'll give it a shot. I'll start watching it here for a little bit, and then I'll check back in a little bit. So if you want, watch it with me. Okay, I realize it might be a little early for a check-in. We're at the 7 minute and 42 second mark. Um, but the whole opening scene really resonates with me. So they, first of all, the family goes out to uh, a restaurant. And it's uh, one of those restaurants that they have one of the, the play tunnels and slides like a Chuck E. Cheese, if you will. All the kids running around and going crazy and how crowded it is. And... I am a father of two children, uh, nine and five years old, so I understand how that works. It sounds like a great idea, and you take these kids to a nice restaurant or a restaurant that has all these playthings in, and it's just crazy. There's so many kids trying to play on it, and um, you know you're worried about your kid getting hurt, and that's what happens in the beginning of this. In addition to that, um, the kids are obviously into electronics, and it's not like when I was a kid, you know, when you would play. Uh, maybe Atari or something like that, or even Nintendo when you're at home. Now they have their tablets, and they're watching other people play video games on YouTube. Again, that's something um, my children do all the time. They're always watching uh, YouTube, which uh, I'm making a video for, but they're always watching it, and they're watching somebody else play the video game and talk about the video game and things like that. And now the first seven minutes of this movie has been how uh, the kids are always doing that and watching videos and things like that so I thought that was interesting because it's something I deal with on a daily basis my children always using uh, their tablets or their phones or even being on the computer um, and playing these games and watching other people play these games so um, if you have kids the opening scene and I'm sure you'll be able to relate to right away so I wanted to check in real quick and talk about that and Let's see how the rest of the film goes because it's uh, pretty uh, up to date on today's issues. So, I mean, like, not issues, issues, but... All right, I'll check in in a little bit. Let's see, hey, everybody. It is the 49 minute and 15 second mark in Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Long Haul. Um, haven't checked in in a, in a while. There's not much to tell. Um, so the, the movie is about the family, family of uh, five. Um, mother and father and three boys all different age and they're traveling uh, across the country uh, to see the their grandmother um, it's her 90th birthday so that's it's a road trip comedy um, you know like vacation in a sense you get that sense a lot you know and the different uh, movies that have the same theme so they're all the hijinks that go along with having your family go across the country um, and part of the plot is the fact that the, the, the youngest boy, or the, um, the main actor, the middle boy, um, is trying to get on to a YouTube show, <laughs> which is quite funny. Um, but he, uh, in the beginning of the movie, he gets uh, videotaped doing something. He has a diaper on his hand, and he's diaper hands. And so he's afraid that his image will be ruined for life because now he's gone viral. Uh, so um, he wants to get on this guy's YouTube channel so that, um, he, that everybody will forget about diaper hands. So luckily the trip is taking them to the same state that this guy is going to be filming his YouTube channel in. It's at a, a game expo. And so that's the whole plot. He's going along with his family in the hopes that he can meet up with this um, uh, YouTuber and get on a show so people would forget about his diaper hands. Um, so that's that's the plot. Not that it's that important. I mean, 
but uh, you know most of it's about you know traveling cross country together as a family and the things that happen. You know they stay in a in a seedy hotel and you know how you know they sleep there and what happens throughout that. I don't want to give you any spoilers, um, but you know then they go to a country fair and um, buy things like um, deep fried butter and ride ride so you can imagine what's going to happen there. Um, but different things like that. That's what's happening so far. Not a lot to tell. Um, again, road trip humor. So it's been a while since I checked in, but I'm gonna go ahead and watch a little bit more of it, and I'll come back again and uh, you know give you some more of my thoughts on the movie in a little bit. All right. Okay. So now the credits are rolling on uh, Diary Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Um, and I have to say, I, I didn't have my expectations up very high for this, and, you know, so I didn't get let down too much. I, it wasn't as good as I had hoped. Watching the previous Diary of a Wimpy Kids, uh, Kid movies, um, I thought they were funny. I realized that they're made probably for children, anywhere between the ages of 7 and 12 is probably what you're looking at, and it still might be funny for, for children that age, but the other ones were funny to me as an adult, and this one um, did not tickle me. Uh, didn't make me laugh out loud at all. Um, a lot of road trip humor, as I talked about. Uh, the other thing that I was a little disappointed in, um, in the first uh, three films, or at least in the first two, Rowley uh, was a main character, and uh, he was very funny. I, I always laughed at uh, his antics in the first one or two, and um, Rowley was in the beginning of this one, and I understand it's a couple of years later, and they can't have the same cast, and I didn't expect it to be the same actor. But he wasn't even in the movie at all. I mean, in the beginning and right at the end, that was it. He didn't he didn't have a major part in that. So that was that was very disappointing. I thought maybe they could find somebody that could uh, reprise that role, but obviously they couldn't. Um, Roderick, uh, I wasn't a very big fan of Roderick in the original ones, but uh, I thought he was a little bit funnier than he was in this one. So a little disappointed in that too. Overall. Uh, disappointment. Uh, Alicia Silverstone um, and Thomas Edward Scott, uh, you know, did fine. Nothing wrong with their performances. Although watching Alicia Silverstone uh, made me think of Cher from um, Clueless. I couldn't picture her. She just looked like a bigger, older um, Cher from Clueless. So it was kind of funny, especially in the beginning. It seemed like that's how she was acting. But again, overall, their acting wasn't bad at all. Um, but it, it was disappointing. Maybe, like I said, for kids, it might be a little bit better, um, as long as they haven't seen the first one or two. Uh, so if you're going into it fresh, without seeing those, uh, you might enjoy it a little bit more than if you have seen those in the past. I did like the fact that they made it relative to the times, uh, a lot, you know, with uh, the kids on their digital iPads and iPhones or, or whatever it is. Um, you know, working on the computers and, and YouTube, watching YouTube and all that kind of stuff. So I thought that that was a good um, part that they, they tried to relate it back to current events in that sense or, yeah, you know, the, the current generation and how they entertain themselves. But overall, I was, I was disappointed. It didn't, uh, you know, didn't do too well for me, making me laugh out loud. I think I'm probably going to go ahead and give it a five. Um, again... If you've watched some of my videos before, I am a very generous rater. Um, and so I don't really give a lot of ones, twos, threes, and fours unless it's really, really bad. Um, so five is pretty low for me. And uh, I think this is definitely five. I, would, I wouldn't recommend it, especially if you've seen the other ones. Um, but maybe if uh, you're, you have a, a young boy in between the ages of 7 to 12 and he hasn't seen anything like this before. It is kid friendly. Um, maybe the, you know you might enjoy it watching it with, with them, with your kids. Um, otherwise, uh, don't bother. If you're just an adult going to watch it alone, I don't think it, it doesn't have enough humor to make it enjoyable for me. So, that's my review. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it or at least helped you make a decision on whether you want to watch it or not. Um, and maybe learned a little bit more about the movie. If you did, you know, feel free to comment or like, um, and then subscribe to my channel so you can see other updates. That's it for now, and join me next time for my next movie review.
All right. Thank you.